This is the Monocast, all about open source marketing automation with Montic. And here is your host, Hecky Gamble. Yeah, welcome, dear listener, uh, to this very special episode. And first of all, w- welcome, Leon. Uh, welcome. Nice to see you today. Yeah, it's um, a pleasure, <laughs> as always. Yeah, um, we're recording this late October, uh, or rather, we start this late October. As yeah. I said, it's a very special thing. We are intending to take you on a little journey on a, on a road trip to Brazil. Um, where next week we will attend Mordic Conference in Sao Paulo. Oh, yeah. And um, so the idea is to have some snippets on, on each day and uh, to give you a little bit of the feeling and the vibes of the conference and to, yeah, to take you yeah. with us. Um, therefore, we decided to do just a really essential little bit of news on Mordic and then yeah. Yeah, move on to, to different continents and different yeah. dates. I'm uh, excited. Yeah, I am very much. <laughs> yeah. Cover, uh, cover, so yeah. luggage packed, all, all, all prepared already. All, uh, mostly, like. Yeah, yeah, toothbrush and so on. <laughs> okay, let's get going. Um, Modic, just the just really essential things. Obviously, mm. 4.4.4 has been released these days. Yeah. With the usual um, security or bug fixes with no more um, features coming up, no 4.5, no nothing, yep. as we discussed in the last episode already. Yeah. But there's news on Modic 5. Yeah. Um, Modic 5 has been, I think, a bit delayed already. It was supposed to go live by October, and now we're at this, yeah, end of October. Um, but we get the news that by the end of November there should be the general ele- availability of the version alpha, and by the end of January 2023, um, there's supposed to be a stable version. And um, yeah, I I hope we can make that schedule. But as always, I'd rather have a stable product and um, delay it by a month or two instead of going live early and having bugs to fix. And yeah, I wouldn't bet on, on that date and I really don't care much as, as you say. Yeah. But just not to con- confuse people, end of November, that's going to be the first alpha release. Yeah. Nothing with general availability or GA or nothing. Um, and I do think that, I mean, I know that, that Ruth will be in Brazil as well and I'm yeah. pretty mm-hmm. sure she's going to be one of the people that we'll have uh, on the phone, <laughs> on the phone, uh, that we'll be talking to during the conference, and uh, we'll probably uh, ask her a little bit uh, about Mordic Five as well. So, yeah, stay tuned. Um, yeah, what else? We have a little bit of nerd stuff, or at least a little bit of technical solution for a not uncommon um, demand, mm-hmm. and um, that came up in the forums again, and I think it's it's not so well no- known that there's a solution for it. What I'm talking about is um, untrack email links. Untrack email untrack. links. <laughs> I no, don't know that the word, but but Modic is of course, of course very powerful when, when it comes to sending email, but also mm-hmm. to tracking links that are clicked in emails. Indeed, so, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. And that's a very important Means means for marketing and, and automation, mm-hmm. um, but in some cases you are not allowed or you don't want this sort of link tracking. Um, and the question comes up time and again: How can I do that? How can I prevent Mordic from from turning a link into a trackable Mordic link? Mm-hmm. And the solution is is pretty straightforward. Mm-hmm. And, uh, not not really. It's a little bit techy. Yeah. But there is a good solution. Basically, you add um, a special special attribute to the link uh, href. Uh, that's modic disable hyphen tracking equals two. Blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I simply link to the forum post Please, um, yeah. <laughs> in the show notes, and you you will find it there. Good news is th- there is a solution. It, yeah, the even technical, if it, but yeah. Uh, maybe this would feature request to going forward to to um, have a little checkbox in in the link editor that says uh, do not track track this link or vice yeah, versa. That uh, would be yeah. a good one going forward. Hmm. Good. Uh, then, of course, one of the many specialties of yours is uh, Mordic Education Team, and yeah. there's some news from the knowledge base. Yeah. 
Um, pretty happy to announce that there's a revamp in the new version of the more the community knowledge page launched pretty recently with a whole bunch of new articles and um, the availability of multiple languages and yeah looking back at the google season of docs 220 when i started that project it's gone miles and miles from when we started it back then i'm yeah. very happy about the new version Yeah, a new version means a, a new tool as well, right? Yeah. Which which can can do multi multi multiple languages. Mm -hmm. The first language that's there is is German. Yeah. Uh, and maybe we can get Portuguese or Brazilian Portuguese on or whatever the <laughs> on the way on the ground, whatever. Uh, in in the next week, we'll see. We'll see. Um, okay, then the only other thing that we want to cover today is the community roundup for the third quarter of mm -hmm. 2022 um like always ruth did invest a good part of her spare time <laughs> um in in writing down what was going on in the community in uh in the third quarter and uh like always it's a good read and and uh, don't miss this one you find the link in the show notes the usual places exactly <laughs> Oh, good. Um, so, as, as we already said, the rest of this show will be a little bit of a time warp. Mm -hmm. um, I hope I will remember to tell you each time <laughs> who I'm talking to, but also when and where I'm talking <laughs> uh, to somebody. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end, uh, Leon and I, we, we plan to do a little recap and... Uh, Yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, this is okay. excited for the trip, excited for the journey. Yeah, Leon, for now, safe travels, and yeah. uh, we meet on the other, on other, the other end side. of the pond. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And uh, see you there. See you there. Okay, and for everybody else, uh, talk to you in a second. And there we are, back from our first time warp. Uh And actually in Brazil. And welcome, Madeleine Friedrich, uh, who's with me. Hi, Hi Madeleine. Eki. Uh, hey. <laughs> Good to see you here in Sao Paulo. Yeah, I'm glad you made it too. <laughs> yeah. Actually, you were here before I was. Yeah, Maybe we arrived time. Tuesday late evening. Uh, no. Oh, yes, yes. Tuesday. Oh, I'm confused oh. already. Oh, it's yeah. time shift. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Actually, I I arrived this morning. Uh, we are recording this on on Wednesday evening, uh, sitting in the beautiful hotel where the conference is and where we all stay. Um, how was the trip? Um, long, I would say. Yeah. Uh, we had to get up pretty early that night or late the evening, depends on how you want to see it. Um, then the first trip was to Amsterdam, and then from Amsterdam to Sao Paulo. How many hours total? Uh, oh, I don't know, actually, maybe like 18 hours. Oh my goodness. But but no thunderstorms like, like Ruth experienced? No, like no, that. not at all. And yeah. then the flight was all right. We had good seats, good food, <laughs> and I heard also good wine. <laughs> oh, you heard so, okay. Um, bad, bad. <laughs> yeah, but then we were pretty shocked when we arrived because it's super cold right now in sao paulo uh -huh. uh, it's like 12 degrees i uh, think and so it's actually raining right now outside. yeah so that's different than expected yeah and it's raining inside as well i heard <laughs> yeah maybe when you're staying in the 17th floor <laughs> <laughs> might happen <laughs> okay okay let's not go into that too. <laughs> okay uh and uh, then rodrigo took us on the wonderful tour today tell us about that yeah rodrigo picked us up at the hotel at the brazilian 10 a.m which is <laughs> like <laughs> maybe around 10 30 yeah. um and then we went to um to big park which the name i can't remember because it's some indigenous name but Rodrigo said it's like the Central Park. Yeah. Uh, and we went to a rooftop of a museum and then we had a pretty cool view about this or above this park and the skyline. Um, and Rodrigo told us where's north and where's south and where's the football stadium where we maybe <coughs> want point. to go mm -hmm. on Saturday. And after that, we went pretty spontaneously to a fruit market mm -hmm. and... We were stopped by 
the guy selling fruits and he gave us lots of fruits to try. Um, many fruits we do not have at home, so I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, and actually very delicious too. Yeah, yeah they yeah. taste way better than at home. Yeah. Uh, I think my favorite was the mango and the dragon fruit. Mm. Um, uh, but but uh, let's get back to the skyline for ah. for a second, because everybody would probably imagine a skyline as in there's maybe 20 skyscrapers or so. It was absolutely incredible. It's like like 360 degrees. All skyscrapers yeah. must be thousands, yeah. literally yeah. thousands. Uh, it's it's stunning. It's, it's it's not beautiful, but it's it's super impressive. And and for all who did not yet look it up, uh, they have like like ten million people in uh, Sao Paulo city and another ten in in the surrounding areas. So it's it's a huge city. It's of course the capital. And uh, yeah, we we learned some some interesting things too about Brazil and in Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo really the capital? It's, it is, yeah. Really? Not real. No, but isn't it Brazil? Brazil? Uh, I think it's... Oh, phew, oh God, God, God. We're thin, <laughs> thin eyes here. <laughs> I think one, one is uh, where the government is, the other is the capital okay, city, but okay. uh, I don't know. Not sure. Yeah. But it's the financial capital. At That's least. for sure, yeah. 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 Okay. Of South Let's agree on that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, the, the market, not, not only fruit, but also other things like funny fish and... Yeah. Chicken legs and whatever. Pigs. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, no details here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um so we're we're not only here for sightseeing, of course, but we're very much looking forward to tomorrow when the first day of the yeah. conference will be. What's your expectations? Oh I think there will be lots of interesting talks. Uh, in Portuguese, obviously, Very so it will be uh, challenging for us to follow, I guess, mm -hmm. but still, I think we can learn a lot, and I heard there will be a video recording, so we will see the videos later on YouTube. With subtitles in, in some, some recognizable language, <laughs> I hope. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty cool, and I also really love the fact that we will see many people we know from slack or the global conferences and now finally yeah. meet them a person but on the other hand ob um, obviously we will meet lots of new people and hopefully welcome them to the community <laughs> yeah well we mean we are the outsiders in this case yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah my, my my feeling is really that that there is a Well, there's a, the huge user base, user yeah. base in in Brazil, but they are not very connected. So, th so speaking of a Brazilian community is maybe yeah. not not the proper term, but on the other hand, maybe this conference can be a starting point for for getting those folks closer together. And the other big deal, of course, is to connect the Brazilian folks with the global community, uh, which is. Always a challenge when when it comes to different languages. So let's see how that goes. By the way, day two will be the community day, the contribution day, where we spend the whole day with with the attendees in in introducing them to what open source really means and what they can do regardless of their own profession and, and skills. Yeah, I really hope lots of folks gonna join for the community day. <sighs> and I, then. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm so excited. I don't even know how many people will show up tomorrow, but but we will talk about that when we're when we survive the survive the night. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anything else for now? Um, no, I, I mean, think we're, we're fine. Look, looking forward for going out for dinner in a yeah. bit. We're going to be like like 15 people or so. Yeah. Uh, today is is a public holiday, by the way, mm -hmm. so it's very very empties and, and yeah. many, many shops are closed except there is a like like what's a celebration it's uh, Los Muertos, uh, Los Muertos yeah. yeah imported yeah. from Mexico <laughs> oh is it so mm -hmm. okay yeah with, with funny masks and, and yeah. very loud music music and, uh, yeah. oh yeah and, yeah that was also quite interesting <laughs> because of the rain hardly anybody in the streets but the music mm -hmm. was like like 400,000 yeah. people yeah. <laughs> okay so enough of that uh Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. See you. Bye.
Hey, Madeleine, welcome back. Uh, we're in the middle of day one of the conference. Well, uh, well, 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 we're late afternoon, but but I think this thing is going pretty long today. So talks are still going on. How do you like the, how did you like it so far? I think it's great. Did um, you understand much? Uh, I would say maybe half oh. of it. Oh wow! Yeah, from speaking Spanish, it helps a lot. Uh -huh. And when the slides are with more yeah. content i oh, can yeah. follow mm. but when it comes to q and a for example and they're just talking to each other i'm lost <laughs> <laughs> it sounds nice some people make a really good show but i have yeah. no clue what they're yeah. talking about um yeah. yeah but it's cool to see all these people here i think it's the biggest in-person event ever so far yeah with Mordek anyway yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um Coffee breaks are also really nice. Of course. Chat yeah. with the people. Yeah. Um, you already did a, a group picture with everyone. So we put that on the show notes, maybe for the first time, a photo. Well, if that works. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a really cool content management system. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Let's see how the rest goes. And uh, after yesterday evening was... Uh, Uh, we had nice food, but but went to bed early because we had to get up before 7 a.m. this morning. Uh, maybe it's going to be more relaxed this evening. So I'm I heard we're going to go to pub. Are we? Okay. You know more than me. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anything you want to say? No. I'm really looking forward to the last talks and mm. also Community Day, of course. Oh, and we have some preparation to do still. Oh, uh -oh. good point. Uh -oh. All right. <laughs> okay. We got to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Okay, next up is uh, Deborah Salves. Is that uh, about right pronunciation? Yeah. Ooh, I'm proud. <laughs> okay, we met before, but but I'm very happy to, to see you the second time here in Sao Paulo. We are still on day one of the conference, and uh, you've been one of the main organizers and, and uh, carry a lot of the load, load and burden of, of organizing the event. How do you like it so far? Oh, I love it. I think yeah. everything came came together nicely and mm. the turn up was was really good and oh, i think yeah. we, we managed to gather uh people who had something to add in different uh fronts regarding oh, definitely Monty. yeah as far as i can tell i, <laughs> I have a hard time following the, the topics uh, uh, let alone the content of the talks but it's fun anyway uh did you sleep well yesterday Ah, uh, not really. I was super nervous. <laughs> it was a lot of work to get here, and uh, uh -huh. I was like anxious that it was going to all be all right. So, mm. yeah. You're not from Sao Paulo yourself, are you? No, I'm from the southern part of Brazil, uh -huh. uh, from Florianópolis. Yeah, what, what sort of a fl travel is that? Like, like uh, by plane? It's just like 15 minutes. Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah. Ah, oh, nice. Um, tell us a little bit about the preparation of the event. Uh, so we had to like go like try and reach a lot of people and we mm. got some proposals as well mm. and we wanted to focus on marketing professionals not just uh, Mautic users but also people who might be interested in knowing a little bit more or knowing it at all mm. because some people might not even know about yeah. Mautic yeah. so we, we try to focus on that like um, different aspects and different um, different attractions so to speak mm -hmm. that people would want to come and and you know, exchange experiences, exchange cases, exchange uh, ideas mm. uh, on the marketing front and also how Motic could be a part of that or is already a part of that in the case of the yeah. case study cases. And when you look at the audience today, do you feel like, like you succeeded? I do, yeah. I was really glad to see that we had like a lot of people from different... Um, different places so we have agencies we have agencies uh we have like a uh, content producers we have more hardcore marketing professionals so i think it, it was a good mix i think a lot of of ideas were exchanged and people talking and you know trying to bring different takes on the same the same quote unquote mm. Mm. Uh, kind of of activity that we do on marketing. Yeah, it was funny. Really early up, somebody asked the questions to the to the audio uh, to the audience, like uh, who have you 
never used Mordic before. And there were quite some hands raised and that it's for a specialized conference. Uh, I, I love the fact that, that, that some newbies were in the audience uh, because that's really, as you said, it's, it's a big deal to, to uh, talk to the users, not to developers or to super experienced uh, professionals. So one of the things that was super nice about those people mm. coming without knowing Mautic is that a lot of them reported that uh, people where they work asked like, oh, could you go and see what this is about? Ah, good so point. That, that was one of the things that we wanted to do, like yeah. bring people who didn't know or knew that it existed. But by what what is Mautic really? How, yeah. how could it be... Uh, of use for me, for my company, for yeah. my business, you know? Cool. And, and then uh, we ran some, some Google ads. Do, do you have any idea whether that worked? I do not know. I wasn't oh. in charge of that. Yeah. Uh, oh, but that but I know that, that the, the, the sponsors and also some of the people in the organization team mm. reached out to their networks. Yeah, true. So uh, if I had to guess, I would say that a lot of people already, like, maybe watch the content or signed up for some newsletter mm. somewhere, you know, so they were like already a bit interested. Yeah. And then having a conference was like an opportunity for okay. no, them to come and no, really never. get to know. And because you have like when, when whatever tool you're adopting, whatever uh, resource you're, you're looking to invest mm. on, you have to see like, what's the pro, what's the con, how is it going to work in my specific context? Yeah. And I think that's like one of the big, the big, things that we had in mind here in Brazil was like, okay, we are in a very specific context. Yeah. And that's what we want to talk about. We tried reaching out to some folks in South America, like in other countries of South America. Yeah. So they could bring their context also. But we didn't have much success on that front. Yeah, true. So it ended up sort of being a Brazilian event. Mm -hmm. But as a Brazilian event, I think we we we, we did a good job in like oh, approaching, yeah, approaching yeah. our yeah. community. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I cannot end this interview without uh, stressing th that that you yourself have been not been around very long. Uh, so we met last year in, in oh this year in this year, yeah, April. Yeah, true. Uh, and uh, you you've uh, j j dived and jumped into this Mordic community and then take an active role and, and I, I can only applaud that. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, so I'm very happy that you're with us and uh, I'm looking forward to things to come. Yeah, so. me too. I think one of the biggest things is that it's a very welcoming community. So it's like you come in a little shy, like I'm not mm. sure what I'm doing here, if I'm going to stay, but then people like value you, you so much that I think you want to stay and you want to keep doing more. At some point you have to like pace yourself down like okay so that's a little too much you still mm. have other things to do but mm -hmm. you want to keep doing and you know i i personally felt really welcomed by the community yeah i i think that that can be generalized like like a everybody is shy with the first steps like like who what is going to happen i don't know what to do i don't know i don't want to be stupid whatever and i i don't want to move right and so once you take that first step and and uh, feel that uh, nobody is going to harm you but but, but uh, you're even very welcome and it's a warm family style community uh, then depending on the nature of who you are but i'm pr pretty much the same as you are you, s you say oh yeah i want to help i can do that and uh, this and that and that and then then uh that's not sustainable like like uh we need many people who do a a good amount of work but but not burn out themselves so yeah uh, in that respect it's a, you're the absolute prototype <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i think people can learn from you i hope they will oh, thanks i hope i i can incentivize people to come and join us and you know okay. help building it yeah 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 okay let's go back to the talks we we're, we're actually sitting here while another talk is going on um and we were expecting some more to come today and maybe some talking tonight over dinner yeah <laughs> yeah okay thank you so much for your time thank you bye bye Okay, well, welcome, Kawe. Is that right? Yeah, it's perfect. Thank you. Kawe, Kawe, good. Kawe Linden. <laughs> Lin Linden. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I can say just Kawe. I think Kawe. I, there, okay. there's not too many. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, but I, I like to, to introduce everybody 
prob properly. Ah, and then so the, the perfect. <laughs> so mostly best if people say their own name. <laughs> no, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, no worries. Um, so we, we're sitting here at Modic Conference, South America. 2022 and um, you are one of the main sponsors of the event uh, what br brought you to sponsoring the event what, what is your relationship to Mordic well like uh, uh, first thank you for inviting me to your podcast it's a pleasure to, to talk to you and to be here in the Mordic conference uh, well um, we started using Mordic as a user mm. when when we start to we have our own sister to send newsletter mm. and during one consulting uh, somebody talked me about the tool that was becoming popular that, mm -hmm. that the tool was Mautic it was it was like four years ago and I started to study the, the tool mm -hmm. and I found it, it I'm very excited. So we're talking 2018? That's yeah, 2018. Okay, that, cool. That's when we start to study Mautic yeah. and we are a web hosting company We yeah. have been in this industry for about 20 years. So we work a lot with uh, open source tools. And we start to study Mautic. I, I, I thought, oh, that, that's very, very good too. And I, th I understand that Mautic could grow like a WordPress. And we wanted to catch up with the, the community. Mm -hmm. And for during, during one year, I used for my company a lot. And we made integration with our uh, customer uh, help desk and and start to use uh, for ourselves mm. and then we we build uh, in hostnet we have a tool that you can easily install modic in your uh, web hosting account and in last years we, we we have been working with modic and few few months ago uh, rodrigo from powertic i think you are I probably already interviewed him he's yeah, a will, very will, very yeah. famous guy here in brazil about yeah. modic yeah. he told me oh, okay we're gonna running a our a conference in in brazil you wanna get together with us and mm. well so nice okay <laughs> did, you, did you know rodrigo in person before or We're not in person because when we started to talk he was not in brazil uh -huh. but i i met uh, his partner yeah uh, luis yeah because sure. we had a, a, a multi event like three years ago mm -hmm. before the pan the the, the, the covid pandemic mm -hmm. and i i met uh, in person luis yeah. that that time rodrigo was not in brazil but We keep talking in the inter internet. Okay, cool. So, uh, last question: What what city are you located? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm from Rio, Rio de Janeiro. Oh, okay, yeah. Which yeah. is for Brazilian in Brazil in terms is pretty close, right? Brazil and sorry. And, and, and for Brazil, uh, it, it's pretty close. For everybody else, it is. Uh, yeah, I think uh, every, uh, it's, a, it's a tourist city. And sh you should go there. It's a beautiful city. Yeah, I tell you a secret. Yeah, mm. Leon, my colleague, he's going there after the the event. Okay, good for him. Yeah, uh, it's I'm a very there. nice city. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're gonna have fun. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, dokey. Um, I have to say, I it's. I mean, We have, we've been talking before this obviously we, we met sure. long, uh, even you yesterday did a good work. <laughs> yeah and um it's a pleasure to have you here uh, thank my you pleasure. so much for sponsoring mm -hmm. sponsoring the event and um um well you had mentioned that you've been in the business for 20 years yeah uh if i mean maybe we should publish a a picture maybe in the show notes and people will think wow that guy must have started with 12 years or so yeah i found the house net when i was 17 oh yeah you see yeah. Yeah. now i'm 40 <laughs> okay um cool yeah thanks so much uh i will also um try to grab your friend and colleague mm -hmm, sure. and um ask him because he's I a know youtuber star i know yeah two so. million uh, yeah, subscribers uh, yeah we didn't bring this up but you are too i think you're also one of the rock stars on the show uh, he is the rock star <laughs> i'm just the techie big. guy <laughs> okay he's, he's boning you at the edge or something okay <laughs> <laughs> okay cool Gawi thank you so much uh, see you later on the conference oh, thank oh. you Iki. thank you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a pleasure it's my pleasure to be here yeah. okay okay talk to you soon <laughs> thank Thanks. you bye bye okay so there we are again uh, just following up to Kawe. here is uh, Gustavo uh, please tell us your full name because I keep uh, Gustavo is perfect okay and do, do you have a last name or Guanabara Huh, okay, that was no problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, welcome. Thanks for, for being here. And we already uh, 
basically t had a little teaser for you with with the, your famous YouTube channel, which is in Brazilian or in Portuguese rather, which is too bad for the rest of the world because it is quite a show, I have to say. Okay, yeah. it's my problem. My it, First of all, yeah. thank you to receive me. And second of all, yeah. sorry, but because uh, my English ah. uh, I have a, a little problem to construct sentence no worries but uh, I, uh, I accepted this, uh, the the, uh, the challenge <laughs> to be here <laughs> okay yeah uh, you, you should be proud of that and, and I have to tell you that um, it's a good thing because not I mean, oh, oh, hardly anybody is is born native speaker English or is perfect okay. in English, and uh, there are so many people out there who are shy in connecting with the Mordic, with the global Mordic community because of this. Uh, uh, but there's no reason for this. I mean. In some cases, if you have no English, then you were probably not listening to this show. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if, if you uh, have halfway acceptable or, or understandable English, then everybody will be happy f uh, that they have the chance to talk to you mm -hmm. rather than just be mum. So uh, maybe this is a good example for everybody else that... that not being perfect in English is mm -hmm. not an issue in all, at all. And, and, uh, yeah. I, I understand so good, but the the, the, the speech is okay. leak. Okay. Um, I wanted to ask you about your YouTube channel with, with okay. close to 2 million followers. Uh, it is about all sorts of digital marketing elements, right? Uh, we have uh, a programming co courses, uh -huh. courses with... Uh, Python, PHP, uh, algorithm, mm -hmm. uh, digital marketing. Uh, I, I create courses in, in so many areas yeah. in IT. Okay. Uh, reference to IT. Yeah, we, we have to mention the name of your channel, by the way. It's Curso uh, My Video? channel is Curso em Video. Okay, I was trying to say uh, that. <laughs> uh, Video courses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Courses in video. Yeah, yeah. It's courses yeah. in video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's simple enough. So if you... It's either, a good name. <laughs> it, it, oh, it's a, it's a very good name. Uh, if if you were fluent in Portuguese or if you want to learn some Portuguese, that's a good recommendation. If you just want to see a really good show, <laughs> uh, at least enjoy one of those because I've been watching or uh, uh, looking into some of them and it's always fun, especially when, when you have somebody else on the show, like Kawe. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's it's good entertainment even and uh, I've seen you both on stage earlier today and mm. uh, yeah in Portuguese you, you. you're qu quite a, a showman so uh, uh, <laughs> I, I, I like too much in, in tell stories That's good. and I have good stories in my yeah. life and I, I, I'm very proud about my histories cool. and, and I, I, I like too much to to, to, to tell the people my yeah. histories and obviously people love it okay <laughs> um, just a word on, on Mordic do you have any any own relationship with Mordic or, or are you not the one who is using it no uh, uh, who use Mordic mm. in in, uh, in hostnet mm. is Kawi of course uh, yeah. my, my my job is mm. Propagate information. Uh, I'm teacher and Brazilian teacher. Yeah. And my profession, and, I pro yeah, 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 my yeah. profession mm -hmm. is teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, my 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 professional background yeah. is teacher. Okay. Uh, and cool. I I create the channel to help my students in class mm -hmm. and and have a work. Cool. Very good. Uh, now I don't have only 15 or 13 students. I have 2 million. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now I'm one of the subscribers too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just one last question. Um, what, what's your impression so far? We are still on day one of the Mordic conference. Uh, have you been in touch with, with many people here? What, what's your thoughts? I'm very happy uh, to receive the, the, the love of people yeah. who love learn with us the, the the Maori course in my channel it, it was with Kawe mm. and he do always <laughs> in, in course yeah. I only uh, make a paper of in, in, here in Brazil we we called Orelha mm. or Orelha uh, was a, a, a student who don't know 
uh, the subject yeah, yeah. Of, of 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 class, yeah. and I, I I do this paper very well. Uh, cool, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's a really good concept. I love it. Okay, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to whatever's going to happen tonight. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, yeah. Aiki. Okay, it's a talk pleasure. Talk to you soon, and for all our listeners out there, uh, let's make another time warp. Whoop. <laughs> Okay, Ruth, uh, I guess you're the one that I don't have to introduce today. Uh, <laughs> we're still on day one. Uh, the last to talk is over. We're done with the conference part. We are no we're looking forward to the evening. And yes. <laughs> how do you feel? I think it's been a fantastic event, actually. Mm. It's only our second ever in-person event, yeah. which is fantastic. And I think the people who've been organizing it have done such a great job. There's been a really wide range of sessions on different topics mm -hmm. from different speakers yeah and um i've just loved meeting the people in the brazilian community that we've kind of known on slack and on social Some, media yeah, yeah. and have never met in person and yeah. so many people i've spoken to today who've been using mortic for years and yeah. we've never heard from them yeah and it, it has some 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 vibe some vibrant feeling yeah and definitely you can really the, feel the excitement of yeah. people learning well some people even learning about mortic for the first time here today yeah but others sitting here here in, in, in next next to the conference room and doing some work using actually Mortic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you can yeah. like peek over someone's shoulder yeah. and you see them using Mortic yeah, or running a campaign yeah. or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. you already mentioned Rodrigo and Deborah yeah. who were the main organizers and carried the main load. I mean, yeah. you, you did too. But it, it is or has been a very different event than the other conference, conferences that we had so far. You can tell I'm tired too. <laughs> <laughs> Um, because we, we do have our uh, global community teams and other teams, and we tried our best to, to help organizing, but in the end, uh, the local folks had to bring it to the ground. And uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I mean, I think we've definitely learned some lessons. There's some things that have worked really well, and I, there's some things I've seen, and I'm like, actually, that really makes sense that just the local community get on with that we don't mm. need to be involved with mm. that they know best what to do yeah. on the ground and then there's been other places where i'm like we could have actually supported more if we have if we had worked more closely there are things we could have done that that maybe would have helped the team more yeah. so it's the first time really that we've completely yeah. devolved uh running this kind of event to a local community so I'm definitely interested to have like a wash up afterwards yeah. and see what the team feels, see what we feel and make sure we document what we learn yeah. so that oh, that's yeah. there for, for future events. Yeah. But, but in total, I mean, it, it's a, it's a blast. It's, yeah. It's fantastic. A great success. And, um, I think somebody else mentioned it in, in some, some earlier, uh, interview that we did that, that, uh, the room was, full crowded and, and yeah standing room only there, i mean there were people at the back who were standing so yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah really cool uh well how, how do you like brazil so far how, how many days have you been here uh i think the days have all blurred into one but i think i've been <laughs> yeah. here maybe two days because i, I yeah. had a very challenging yeah. flight experience getting here yeah. but yeah great except for it rains more than it rains at home in the uk yeah, for some reason <laughs> for everybody's some reason. bringing it up <laughs> <laughs> all these european people came over and brought the rain yeah um, but well, yeah no we went on a drive around town and we mm. went to the market and tried every possible type of fruit i think i've ever seen in my life <laughs> yeah. uh, and so it's, it's been fun. really fun it's been really fun we've been really looked after by the local mm. community as well so mm. And I've got a few days after the event to just go and chill out. So oh, I'm looking that's forward good. to that too. Oh, that's good. What's, what's your expectations for day two, which is the contribution day? Yeah, I'm really excited actually. So I've spoken to lots of people today who have never used Mortic, mm -hmm. and, but they want to help contribute. They've yeah. got skills as a marketer or they've got skills as a translator and they want to help. And there are lots of people who have used Mortic for ages, but never really felt like they knew how to contribute. Mm. So I'm really excited that we're going to have the opportunity to kind of bring more people into how they can help create stuff yeah. in the community. I, I, I think, or maybe we, the, the proof is in pudding, but yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I think we found a really good format with these two days, yeah. confer two-day conference where day one is talks and day two is hands-on, more or less. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So inclu includes 
introduction into what it means and how, yeah. to, how to contribute, but then actually do some things, which is the hardest part to get started for most yeah. people. Yeah, and having mentoring as well. So having people yeah. from the community who are already contributing in those areas yeah. who can then sit side by side with people, and in our case, probably with a translator, but to That's actually help yeah. people yeah. get that first contribution. Yeah. And we're here with the stickers to say, yay, you've yeah, done your well, first contribution. Yeah, how can that go wrong? <laughs> yeah. So, no, that's yeah. true. Yeah, but but yeah, the, the language barrier is is a thing, definitely. Yeah, definitely. And if we find a way to to crack that here, yeah, that'd be very awesome. We'll see yeah. how day two goes. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think that's something we can also share with other open source communities, mm -hmm. like how how we did this and what we've learned in yeah. terms of the mentoring in a, a country where they don't all speak English. Yeah, and there isn't that commonality. Like what what worked for us. And, so yeah, and we've so many so many other places in the world where we have the same situation after yeah. all. So yeah, let's let's see how it goes tomorrow. Yeah, really looking forward to it. Yeah, for now uh, it's a quarter past seven local time. Yes. Um, everybody's tired, but everybody's looking forward to go out for dinner and yeah, maybe like a coke or something. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Um, thank you very much for now. You're welcome. Uh, um, maybe we're going to talk tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. And hopefully it's a really awesome day. Yeah. And for our listeners, I guess, well, we'll see. Maybe this is the last snippet for today. Maybe we catch something later on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Rodrigo, you're the main. <laughs> yeah. We're at the end of day one. Uh, Ruth and I already sat down a minute ago and reflected on, on the day. How did you like it? Well, I'm really happy about everything what's happened today. Yeah. It was, I was, I have to confess, yeah. I was uh, nervous about <laughs> uh, sure. what could happen mm -hmm. because some situations here in Brazil and... Uh, oh. But finally, we 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 did it, mm -hmm. and I think the the overall feedback was great. Yeah, uh, a lot of friends, a lot of new friends, a lot of new people who doesn't know Mauric because I was asking if they uh, were using Mauric, and mm -hmm. and it was a surprise for me. But I could say it was a a big success, uh, and I I can't wait for the next. Editions. Oh yeah, yeah, but uh, but uh, I guess for now it's a big relief to. Have it, yeah, have definitely, it definitely, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. It, it it's a burden we we remove. Yeah, uh, how stressful was, were, were the preparations? What is the the preparations the, the for the for the event? I mean, you are yeah. basically you yeah. and your company mm -hmm. have been hosting this event, have been kind enough to organize it in, on behalf of the community. Deborah has been helping a lot, but. But you you had to carry a lot of the load. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, the, the, this was a thing of mon multiple months, obviously. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Definitely, we had a lot of uh, preparation, and mm -hmm. one of our intention was 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 try to attract a new audience because it's always the same public, the same audience, and I think we got it in a certain level because many people they said they they didn't know about Mauric mm -hmm. and I think that was was great and about the work definitely the hardest part was how to attract and how to compare and how and what we could deliver mm -hmm. in our event because here it's happening a lot of mark marketing and technology events mm -hmm. and how what we could deliver in our event different what the other e events they are doing. So that was one of the points. Uh, and we we did it, we created uh, a community, uh, a sense of belonging. Yeah. Uh, and that, uh, and we, we explored uh, that. And also we tackle agencies, marketing agencies mm -hmm. with the, the speech saying, and uh, they are just one in a HubSpot mark marketplace, for example. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in, in a H H HubSpot marketplace, all agencies they are kind of they can change one agency for another. Mm -hmm. And when one agency uses Mauric, they have a solution. They have a solution, not just 
are operating a platform mm -hmm. and they also have to connect and create a new thing. And I, I think this, this message reverberates in, in, in a certain way, but definitely the hardest part was how to attract new audience without, of course, investing Mm. a lot of money in, 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 in ads and things like that. Yeah, true, true. I mean, you, you did have a couple of sponsors, uh, which is great, and uh, it couldn't happen without those sponsors, and, and I guess we'll mention them once again on the, in the show notes as well. And thank everybody. Uh, but but uh, the biggest thanks, again, goes, goes to you. You have been a fantastic host, not only preparing all this, but also giving us a sightseeing tour yesterday. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Spending it was great. your evenings and all that. Yeah. And I have to agree with what you said, that, that this sense of belonging, uh, the spirit among the people here, mm -hmm. that was fantastic. Maybe, hopefully, that spark for something even greater going forward. I think so. I think yeah. so for tomorrow, for, for our community day. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, they said they will come. And cool. then I, I, I look forward to meeting new people. And, and here in Sao Paulo, it was great. I'm, I'm pretty happy to have you, everybody here. Yeah. And we didn't eat yet feijoada, which is a traditional <laughs> dish here. But uh, maybe we will do that tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so I didn't mention that yet, but, but uh, Rodrigo has... Uh, Talk, been talking me into that for, for, yes. for yeah since yesterday yes and, I will uh, get it and uh, I tried to get it and maybe tonight okay yes we'll see okay thank you so much uh, we'll hook up later okay okay thank you Ek. thank you everyone bye bye hey Leon you, hey, look, you. you look exhausted <laughs> yeah, you do too <laughs> thank you uh, yeah it's, here we are uh, at the end of day two at least in, in the end well, oops, at the end of the contribution day. Indeed. It's uh, 6 p.m. plus something, so <laughs> we have to leave the room now. We're we're sitting in a rather tiny room, or oh, no, a medium-sized room, but, medium. but with about 30 people today, it was very crowded. Good. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just a lot of like people here and a lot of uh, contribution happened. Yeah, and by the way, if you hear some noise in the background, that's because there's the still people, yeah, <laughs> the people around. Also, we're next to a busy street, so <laughs> the best setting for a podcast, am I right? Is. Yeah, well, that's yeah. real life here. <laughs> um, yeah, so so you did uh, lead the education team today, yeah. is that right? That's that's very right. Working on what? Um, I was mainly working and focusing on the knowledge base. Because the new knowledge base, as I mentioned yesterday, went live. And today we started the groundwork for the um, Portuguese translation. Because currently it's available in English and some articles in so German. It's, it's, the tool itself is now Portuguese and plus some Yeah, the, the menu items, the entire UI needs to be uh, translated. It's a lot of work and still yeah, crazy stuff. needs to be uh, worked on a bit. But we made good progress for today. Yeah, and I, I, I overheard some... some more general conversations also with new ideas for, yeah. for education. It's yeah, Very good. always good to be together in a room. Yeah. Uh, how was your day? What what did you mainly work on for today? Well, I can tell you I got up at five in the morning. Oh, <laughs> the jet lag. <laughs> yeah, that's one thing. And the other thing is that, that last night I, uh, I did not go to bed directly after we went <laughs> out. But it, it did some work, but I really couldn't finish it. Yeah. And I had some <laughs> preparation to do for the day. Yeah. So... Um, other than that, of course, because I'm the team lead for community, mm -hmm. I was leading community efforts here, with <laughs> working with some Brazilian folks uh, on getting the Brazilian community to the next level, really. Yeah, nice. And at the same time, um, enhancing the general concepts of, of local communities, giving guidelines to other people in other countries and regions yeah. who want to do the same thing. Yeah, so uh, very busy day. As I said, I'm, I'm completely You exhausted. look as exhausted yeah, as yeah, I guess yeah, you are. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck, this is an audio podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, but but um, I think yesterday evening was, was quite fun, but, yeah. but what we didn't manage was any <laughs> sound snippet. Maybe it's good. <laughs> Let's see how, how tonight is going. And uh, So we'll be back with, with news either later uh, tonight or we will nothing, see. <laughs> nothing else than tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow is Saturday. No, no more official conference day, but we'll keep 
working with, with, working with some some people that's still in the hotel and yeah. uh, maybe do some fun stuff too pretty sure okay talk to you soon talk to you soon bye bye Okay, here we go with uh, yet another voice. Uh, hey, Elvis, uh, what's your real name? Uh, my real name is Elvasu. Hello, Ek. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. And people know me also as Elvis. Yeah. So it's easier for Very a lot true. of people yeah. to remember Very true. my name and remind rem remember me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Um, I, I know that you've been working with other open source communities before we, you discovered Mordic, right? Oh, Seven, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. I used to contribute to Joomla. I contributed for uh, about eight years. Mm. And uh, that's the reason that I'm here, because I met Ruth mm -hmm. and through Joomla. And then we kept in touch. And sh this is the first time she is here. And in, here in Brazil. In Brazil, yeah, yes, yeah. in yeah. South America. And she told me about that. And I had heard about Mordic uh, for a while, but I was not like really sure how yeah. to. <laughs> work with it yeah. and I thought you know what this is the right moment um, so w yesterday basically on day one on the on the conference day where, where all the talks did happen that was your r first real contact with, with Mordic obviously I can imagine that you were probably a little bit overwhelmed mm -hmm. today on, on this contribution day there was a better chance to, to get to know people and to get into conversation what's your overall, overall take of these two days oh actually I must be uh, honest with you well, I like better today community day yeah, I was expecting that and <laughs> because I really got to talk to people mm -hmm. uh, during the 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 conference yesterday we just heard mm -hmm. and uh, as I am new to Mordic I I tell you just to be honest I got a little uh Bored? I, I was tired. <laughs> not uh, not bored, but just I I'm not getting it. <laughs> yeah, you uh, see? I can completely imagine it. E yeah. Even me, if if I'm sitting there and and, uh, and uh, listening uh -huh. to talks, let's say very, that are very very developer centric, mm -hmm. I can follow that for a while. But then after after a while, I think oh, well, yeah, that's but, not not for me. So, so yeah, but yeah. Uh, anyway, it was a great. Day, mm. I believe uh, it's. Just, I think it's where I am now related to yeah, Mordic. That's that, totally fine. So yeah. I, I wouldn't say that's a general thing. Yeah. It's just me, yeah. and I noticed that all the people were very happy to be here. Yeah. And so, but to tell you the truth, I enjoyed way much better being today no. here at the community day and yeah. really starting to contribute and talking to people. I joined the marketing team yeah. and as a designer and I did something that I don't think it's worth mentioning yet but <laughs> okay. I think the, so, uh, it's promising and so I'm kind of excited to how where it goes okay so we'll sit back and, and uh, wait for a surprise and on yeah. behalf of the Mordic community I say thank you already oh you're welcome, <laughs> okay. you're welcome. Uh, Elvis, nice talking to you me too uh, that I hope you'll be joining us tonight when yeah. we go out and, uh, oh yes yeah. another happy hour <laughs> <laughs> okay thank Thanks. you bye 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 So, Leon, as promised, here we are again, at least once in this episode, we, we, we keep our promises. <laughs> and, yeah, and we give a little report from, from um, after dinner. Uh, today we went out to a very crazy place. Yeah, it's, the decoration is uh, wild. Yeah. It's uh, very diverse. Hard, hard, <laughs> hard to describe, but, but the food was incredible. Yeah, yeah. it's super tasty. Yeah. Uh, so if you ever come to Brazil, feijoada is the thing that you want to have. Yeah, but you can feed a small family from one person. Yeah, that was a big, mis <laughs> big mistake of yeah. mine. Yeah. yeah. Other than that, uh, my food was tasty. The decoration is uh, wonderful, and we finally kept our promise. And, yeah, and the entire group is happy. <laughs> so yeah. Okay. Greetings from here. Talk to you later. Bye bye. 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 
Um, here we are on day, yeah. day whatever, day three, day three, four, two plus, something, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, conference is over. We did survive the conference. We did. barely. <laughs> no, no, we did no, it enjoy very, it. Very, well. very well. So far, we did survive Sao Paulo as well. <laughs> yeah. How did you like Sao Paulo to start with? It's a super interesting city. It has a lot of interesting corners. Um, interesting. That's interesting. Nice way to yeah. put it. Uh, It's an adventure, I'd say. It's an oh, adventure. Yeah, yeah it sure is. It sure is. Yeah. How did you like it so far? Um, it was different than I expected, to be honest. Mm. It's. Uh, I'm. I'm very glad I made it to, to see it. Same. But I guess I will be glad to be <laughs> back to other places. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It was uh, quite an adventure. And it hits a nail on the head. Yeah. Um, yeah. Brazilian people, very, very friendly, oh, yeah. lovely people. Um, very welcoming. Yeah. Really enjoyed meeting new people and even morticians I've never met before yeah. because of language barrier. They were all so friendly and welcoming. I really had a blast being here and meeting new people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, was, I was considering to talk about the nights, <laughs> but, I, but I don't. I won't. Let's, let's talk about the conference instead. Um, I think we, we already said uh, we had quite a crowd. Yeah. Um, many, many people there, even on, on the contribution day. Yeah. Um, More people than I expected, if I'm honest. I had no idea, to, be, to tell the truth. Um, this morning, we, we also discussed whether it was a good choice to do it the way we did. Mm -hmm. So, the, the location was certainly a good one. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, Sao Paulo as, as a city. Also, the conference hotel that we chose, or that Rodrigo chose, rather, uh, worked per perfectly fine. Everybody yeah. happy. Um, and the, the spirit and, and the enthusiasm that we had yesterday at the contribution day, I sure hope that that's going to be carried, carried into the future. I hope so, so too. So, um, some people uh, promise to, to continue <laughs> working today, which is weekend, <laughs> um, but which... They don't have to, but but uh, as, as long as the community, the, the Brazilian community, continues to to pick up some speed and to get close together, etc., yeah, would be that great. Would be great because it's such a huge user base here, yeah, and, and uh, so, so a lot of passion too. Uh, all it needs is give people the opportunity to to turn all that into some some joint action. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. Well. Um, <laughs> What else is there uh, to say? What, what, where are you going today? Uh, tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow, today. Yeah. Today, yeah, today, we, yeah. today we're going to yeah. a football game. Yeah. I'm very excited yeah. about that. And Soccer for in some parts of, parts of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Soccer, football, whatever you call it. Yeah, for t tomorrow I'm going to, to Rio. Mm -hmm. and, um, Copacabana. Yeah. Taking a week off, doing some vacations at the Copacabana. Yeah. Looking at Rio. I'm quite excited for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, what uh, dear listeners, <laughs> I am even taking Leon's laptop with me. Yeah, <laughs> so just for security measures. You never know yeah, yeah, when yeah. Leon gets drunk on the beach in Copacabana. Okay, and let's see you said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Um, yeah, I will have to go back to the office, well, sadly, but, but full of impressions and um, very motivated towards uh, even more Morty. Yeah, and I will join you in roughly a week when I'm coming back. Yeah, okay. Your Safe travels to you, yeah. to Madeleine as well, who will yeah. be here for another week. Another week after I stay yeah. a week, yeah. Yeah, she's waving, but uh, nobody <laughs> can see it. <laughs> okay, waving back. <laughs> okay, everybody, uh, wa waving to you as well. Uh, we'll be back for a regular episode next time. Um, back from the office. <laughs> yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed, enjoyed this one. Um, it was quite fun for us as well yeah. to do it this way. But Pretty new to have like a road journey, a road map, and catching road different map, voices. Say, yeah, <laughs> like road movie, road yeah, audio, uh, whatever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. All right. So, enough of that. Take care, everybody. Safe trip home, everybody. Um, um, and we talk to you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.